We are at this place. It's called um, Sidi Busayid. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> And this moment is have so much security. Right now, yeah? It's security. It's, it's, no, it's have uh, so much security. It's very good security. That's good. It's the same before. Yeah. And now it's very the same before. Mm -hmm. Hi, Hi guys! <laughs> <laughs> that is Hibo, a young friend of mine. Okay, so I have a lot from guys and it's called Hussein Hibo and Associates Advocates. It's in Nairobi. And right now we're in Tunis for the rights fund. Mm -hmm. And, sorry, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, sorry about that interruption. <laughs> But back to it, uh huh. You said, you said, okay, Hussein, Hussein okay. Hibble Associates, Associates and Ad yes. Associates Advocates. Yes. Ah, okay. And so, what do you hope to do with with your firm? Like, what cases are you going to be interested in? Um, what are you going to focus on? Uh, okay. For now, we're not going to choose. We're not going to pick and choose because we're not there. So we're going to be jack of all trades. We're going to do everything: criminal law, commercial law. <laughs> Civil law, constitutional law, whatever. If you have any matter, come to you. Okay, this is advertising, but it's not allowed in law. But anyways, it's not advertising. <laughs> you guys, oh my gosh, what's this on my lips? Mm. Yeah. What's that? Oh my god, it's like <laughs> shawarma. <laughs> shawarma. You know, and that is a shawarma. Anyway, but the vlog has to be done. Uh, okay, it came off. I think it came off. It came off, yeah. <laughs> We are in Tunis together uh, for it's the rights such fund. It's an amazing city. Oh my god, it's so it beautiful. Is, it is, it is. And we are at this place. It's called um, Sidi Busayid. Yeah, it's, find the it's name. beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. So this place is about 20 minutes drive from uh, the central business district of Tunis. And if you want to come here, um, it's a place where everything in the city is painted white and blue. And there's a market here where you can buy all the accessories, all the souvenirs that you need. Um, and, and pretty much just have a look at the town. You know, it has all this nice history. Um, around in its artifacts that you would actually find pretty interesting and the beauty about Tunisia is that it's a very contemporary city you know anybody who would think of coming to Tunisia would think that it's a well yes it is predominantly Muslim but they are a little bit liberal in their outfits or in their dressing uh, people here <laughs> Yeah, you it was know. so funny. You know, today in the morning she was dressing up <laughs> and she thought, um, okay, fine, this is going to be a Muslim city, so I'm going to be wearing what she you was know. wearing. So she was wearing a hijab and she, was, she had like a really nice long dress <laughs> mm -hmm, and she popped mm -hmm. her in the, in the rice cooking place and everyone was like... I was hair, seeing guys there in hot know. pants. Hot pants. I was like, what? Yeah, because the bitch is this near. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, um, it's it's a really interesting city and um, if you want to come here, the dollar exchanges at one dollar is equivalent to 2.5 or 3 dinar, which is the local currency and the drive from the airport to the central business district is about 15 minutes 
so to and fro you're able to plan your time and figure out how you're gonna get to and from the airport the taxis cost about from the um, airport um, cost about how much 30 to 25 um, 30 to 25 you know okay yeah. and and you know usual rounds if you do some rounds in in the central business district ten it will be 10 dinner which is about how many dollars uh, three four three three dollars yeah. Yeah, because it's two three dollars. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's it's a it's a pretty affordable city, um, and the food is amazing. Okay, the shawarma is amazing, guys. Really? The shawarma is amazing. Really? And what did I have? I had some steak and some shawarma. Okay, Did not this one. The, okay, <laughs> listen, guys. There's one that I had like just a few minutes ago. It yep, yep. <laughs> it was horrendous. Like. I don't want to have that again. I literally threw that in the thing. <laughs> oh my god, I think the guy literally fucked the thing in my <laughs> I told this guy to throw, to throw that away. I think he fucked it in my, in my stuff. Oh god. But anyways, yep. um, I'm going to have another nice show. Because I know a spot in the middle place where we're staying. But we're here for the view and for the vibe. I just had some not really good orange juice, but it's alright. It's not. Okay, really one thing I miss about Kenya is um, the really nice tea, guys. <laughs> oh my god, I'm an addict. Like these guys, they don't do tea with milk, so all they do is mint tea with joy. It's really, really, really nice. Really oh, the mint tea is awesome. It's awesome. There's nothing as good as mint tea, by the way. I'm typical Kenyan. I want anything with milk. chai. Yeah, go for chai. Like she's been here for two days and she's already saying she misses home. No way. It's like, like home, who does guys. that? No way. Does like that? Home. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um. So it, it's it's an interesting city anyway. There's there's a lot of people, good people here, um, but I think I've noticed that their demographics. There are not many young people in this city. They're almost like the Japan situation. You have more people who are in their mid mid years to the elderly years. So you will find people here in their forties. A lot of people in their forties and going up. The young people, maybe I'm just in the wrong city. Maybe. You know? <laughs> but I I think from my observation I think the people here they're cool, but they're more, you know, in those demographics. And um, yeah, the, the official language here is Arabic and they also speak a lot of French. So no if you English, cannot yeah. speak these two languages, no you're gonna English, be like yeah. like yours truly because we've been doing the sign language thing, yeah. like I am going and then i am coming back yeah so wait for me wait <laughs> it's been funny by the way <laughs> yeah and um when you feel like they do not understand you're like okay so when he spoke french what did you say did i said nothing all they do all they say to me is oh my god did i tell you guys that i wanted to iron my clothes today and it's funny because they don't have an iron box inside the hotel room so i told okay my my phone was not working with the room telephone so i told i called joan whatsapp and i was like listen call the reception and tell them to get me an iron box so some lady comes and knocks on my door and i'm like hmm. she's like laundry laundry i'm like huh? i'm like i'm not doing laundry like i'm not gonna oh give you my clothes and she's like laundry laundry i'm like no no sorry and then she went so i'm still waiting i decided okay fine i'm just gonna wear my dress and then when i was coming back because i wanted to change uh, to come this side i asked the reception guy i was like can i get a you know um uh, an iron box and and he looked at me he was like what talk to this lady then this lady is like we don't do iron boxes in the, in the room so we're gonna send someone to come and pick it so it didn't even click the lady that came in the morning literally came to pick my clothes and iron it for me so yeah it's a yep. bit, and they don't have a kettle inside the hotel room so i think everything is just i think done by people for you i know yeah and it's you know what you know how when you are in kenya because you expect certain services from the hotels and they have those you know perfect services and then you get to a country that you're not so used to and then you start to ask where's the toothpaste where's the toothbrush where's the shower cap where's the where's water i don't know where's the water, where's the water? <laughs> guys appreciate your kenya yes. or your country where you're from because stuff is different in other 100%, cities 100 yeah. percent. that's why i miss kenya and it's my people <laughs> <laughs> she was complaining about the fact that they didn't have um, the, the percolator or the kettle in the room where you know they, they give you those little uh, tetra packs and the, and the tea bags with milk and cream Basics, and things guys, and sugar mm -mm, it's not here <laughs> not maybe really. it's not at the hotel we're at 
maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe. maybe it's our time. Maybe next time we to actually find out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at the beautiful view, guys. It's so pretty. Okay, so key travel tips uh, if you if you're coming to say the Arabic side of of Africa, the charging port in Tunisia, and I guess many hotels around Africa have the charging ports that look like this, and like what we used to say in Kenya and in Uganda. So you're going to find a lot of these. So the trick is to actually carry an adapter that you can place inside right there and then place your adapter if you're charging a phone or your laptop or whatever it is that you want to charge. Um, always carry this adapter because without it, mm -mm. Your three knob charger or adapter would not actually be of any use. Do you want to do you want to explain the fact that guys, if you want to come to Tunisia, you have to leave the continent and then come back to the continent. Oh like, yeah. Yeah, legit, yeah. Like, there's no KQ flying here, so if you fly Emirates, you're gonna go through Dubai and then you're gonna come back to Tunisia. And yep. if, you, if you're flying to um, if you're flying Qatar, you're using Airways, Qatar Airways, you go to Doha, Doha and then you come back. Mm -hmm. So that's also interesting, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but um usually when you're traveling never assume that you know your hotel is gonna have all the accessories that you need uh, maybe a toothbrush or a um, hot comb flat iron or an iron box you know carry a steam iron if you can 100%, um carry i mean the basics carry a lotion carry um shower gel or shampoo carry all the things that you would actually have in your house but in small portions um if if ziploc bags are allowed in the country that you're going to it's it's actually good to carry these things um toothpaste a toothbrush um a lotion shower gel even your basic um you know hand grooming foot grooming stuff um, because never expect that the hotel is going to give them to you because different countries have different um, yeah. ways of doing things. Yeah. So you know, if, I realize, I think the hotel industry in Kenya is way better, guys, because I've traveled so many countries in Africa and I think no one beats Kenya. That's 100%. Like, the services, I think people are so fast in Kenya. Guys, I ordered tea, I ordered tea yesterday, <laughs> like tea from downstairs, and I went upstairs because I know I don't have, you know, the phone to call. And this guy took five hours. So I had to go to my friend's room and call them again and be like, yo, what happened to my tea? Like, five hours later. <laughs> and everyone was always like, there's no reason to rush. Like, like, do you expect them to deliver they it say, to your oh, room? Do they say, yeah, yeah, do they, what do they say? When you make room service, like, you expect them to get your stuff, like, uh, done, right, right? Right. So they were taking too much time. And then their response to everything is, take your time, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, like in Kenya. In Kenya, they say, by the way, by the way, imagine the imagine. chef, eh? Imagine the chef, the chef, the chef got your order wrong. So here it's take your time, take your time. Yeah, I want to take your time. Like we came with a taxi driver. We told him like I want to go see the city, and he was like, okay, I'll drive you guys. We took us some shopping places and everything, and then now he's just chilling. Us guys are just watching the view, and he's waiting for us. So Joy is asking me, are you gonna pay for his time? Well, yeah, and he's saying take your time, take your time. Like, so take right, your time okay. and just being a sweetheart. Today, I think. What's the one thing, What's one the thing, one thing you appreciate about this Tunisia, city? Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful and it has amazing people, by the way. They are so welcoming, and you're you're not scared of someone grabbing your stuff from the. <laughs> you know, you roll out your window and you just. Okay, well, we don't have an Nairobi. <laughs> Roll down your window and enjoy the city and enjoy the view. I know, right? Um, today when we were going for the conference, um, I left my phone at the security check when we were getting in. So I thought I'd left it at the hotel. So when we got to the conference area, that's when I remembered, wait, I do not have my phone. And the first trigger was go back to the hotel. So I took a taxi back to the hotel. And I checked my room, um, the lady had just cleaned the room and so she said, hey, um, no, when you left, you left with the phone in the hands and that's when it, it actually 
hit me that I had left it at the security check, you know, that place where they scan stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I had to call the number on my badge and they said, uh, describe your phone. And like, it's gold, it has a brown cover and things. And then they're like, okay, um, give me five minutes, give me five minutes, call me back after five minutes. So I called using the hotel number after five minutes and they actually had found the phone and they had kept it as lost and found property. So like, I don't know if, if it yeah. was, if it was, I don't know if it was back it was, home, if I was going to find, I, I don't know, you know, like, good Samaritans are everywhere, anyways, they're everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> All right, so yeah. The chance of you getting your phone today, mm, would be like, it would have been, well, let me just say 50 50 it would have been, <laughs> it would have been 50 50 but yeah I, I mean i was i was just really appreciative of that fact um Amazing that they kept people. the phone and then they're like so um just be careful but in case you lose something else feel free to to let us know <laughs> like you know me. yeah and then i took a taxi and the guy um i paid him 20 dinars and he gave me back 10 dinars and, and some extra but the other guys would really 10 just dinner, yeah and so i understand and some extra yeah change. yeah because 10 dinner back and forth from the thing you pay 20 dinner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so yeah anyway i i love this place um the weather is awesome it's just like nairobi weather and in case you want to dress up in hot pants and stuff i think it's it's one of the only muslim countries that i have traveled to that allow you to do that you can wear hot pants in tunisia yeah. <laughs> and you have to get away with it guys, yep. like, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but i've noticed i think i'm the only one wearing cornrows in this city yeah. i haven't seen anybody have you seen anybody with cornrows have you seen anybody with lines I, I think i'm the only one that's why they're always asking me where are you from yeah oh my god they keep on asking that <laughs> are you from south africa I'm like, mm -mm, try from, again. Would you ask you Saturday? Did you ask Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. That was the biggest joke. And that imagine so the guy funny. who asked me if I'm from South Sudan. South Sudan, for crying out loud, South Sudan. Mm. Goodness me. He was either Cameroonian or he was Nigerian. Oh, he's African. Oh, he was like, like, like black African. African. Yeah. How do you ask me if I'm South Sudan, really? At least he should have said Sudan. Khatim, yeah. Khatim would make, make sense. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's, maybe it's wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I had I had to tell him no. Uh, I'm from Kenya, but I'm Ugandan. He's like, how are you from Kenya, but you're Ugandan? I'm like, really? So many questions. Why do we have people like that on the African continent? You like, how are you from Kenya, I but you're Ugandan? Tell him you have a blue passport and you can go wherever you want to go. That's how I tell him. <laughs> No, I'm sure Nigeria can do better than that. That guy yeah. was Nigerian. They tell me, they tell me the same thing. They're like, you can't say you're Somali and you're from Kenya. And I'm like, what? That does not make sense. So they, they, they want me to say I'm Somali, but I'm from Somalia. Or Somali, I'm not sure. Kenya, Kenya. Where did she go, I think. Oh, man. All right. Um, um, nice to what are you telling the millennials, huh? Guys, visit Tunisia, by the way. Visit Tunisia. But make sure you come with everything we said. <laughs> okay, bye guys. in all Africa. <laughs> yes. You really? like your city. It's huh? very, very old. This is a Carthage. Do you know uh, the story of Carthage? Anibal? No. Yeah. Tell me about I it. I heard about it. This is uh, 3,000 years. 